So we're at the 2019 Azor um, Global Boot Camp. Uh, it's the first one in Nottingham. We're at the Comify Group headquarters in Nottingham as well. Um, this event here is really, really important to us. Um, Ascendex, which is one of the Comify brands, has been part of the local tech community for over 15 years. We've been at the heart of that community, supporting events, the Hack 24s and things like that. So when the organisers of the boot camp said, have we got somewhere we can hold the event? Our first answer was yes. Um, our second answer was, mm, okay, we need to figure that out a little bit. Um, so basically we work in a fairly um, compliant driven organisation and we had to figure out how to allow 40 people, um, some of them strangers, into our building on a weekend and access to our shared office space. Really happy that everyone at Comify worked to make that happen. We've done a lot of work this week to make the space welcoming and secure and today we welcome those people in and from what we can see so far they are having an absolutely great time learning about Microsoft Azure and the opportunities you can get in there. So the reason I uh, volunteered was because I wanted to help uh, Comify in the developer community around Nottingham by helping us run an event like this. Being involved in the local tech community I think is a really important thing for us to do as a company um, and it's something I really like for me personally as well. When it was said that we would be hosting this event and that we needed some people to help out, I thought it would be a really good thing to come along and help make sure that everything goes smoothly and everyone has a really great day because we want to be active in the community because it's a really good community around here. So, hi, I'm uh, Tobias Koprowski and I um, live in Nottingham, leader of the Nottingham Data Platform Group, co-organizing and helping with that event here, as well helping with the other events like Not the Workshops, our tour with the SQL Server and data around the UK and a couple of different, different places around the world as well. On every event, uh, similar like this one, we have some kind of challenge, so we're doing something for someone else. This year we playing with the machine learning to find the exoplanets, uh, together with the NASA and with the uh, team from, from Spain. But uh, previously as well, we had a couple of challenges fighting with the cancer, we fighting for the food and so on and so on. Creating Azure services, creating all of those resources, using resources with the subscriptions which we get. Every single year, we not only learn about Azure, we not only play with some labs and workshops, but as well, we helping the community globally to achieve some kind of, some kind of goals. I work with Azure. I'm an Office 365 developer, so we're using Azure for Azure functions, for storage. Uh, for me, it's easy. I'm based on Microsoft Stack, so it was for me easy to go with Azure. My name's Stuart Moore. I've been working generally in IT for about 20 plus years across lots of platforms, and it means that as soon as the cloud came up as an option for businesses and work, then I was all over it. So my talk this morning was about the various options for hosting SQL Server within Azure, working out how you can work through the fact that you can start with a minimal product with no overhead of management through to a very complex product, but you have to manage it. Um, going really, really well so far. Um, everyone's engaged, people are on the laptops actually getting on with the work rather than just sat watching or talking. You can just hear a hive of activity in there and the technology they're using, the service fabric, the IoT things, it's exciting stuff. Um, you can see people thinking about how this is going to work in their day jobs as well. I'm interested in Azure because as a developer I don't need to worry about how I get something provisioned, I can just go ahead and get it done without having to worry about how many servers it needs. Basically it lets us scale in a way that we just couldn't do if we were hosting everything ourselves and I find that really really interesting that the kind of the ability that gives you to just go and say I want a database, I want three databases, I want five databases, I want a cluster, I want servers that do this or that, I want massively powerful resources or I want small resources and you just having that flexibility in cloud provision is amazing and Azure's got pretty much an offering for anything you could ever possibly want. So it's a wonderful thing to have, it's an exciting thing to, to, to look at. Uh, functionalities which we have, uh, flexibility, scalability, extensibility around that services are absolutely amazing. Having your services in the 54 different regions around the world, in the different data centers, uh, with the hundreds of the services, we have almost 1,000 services available in Azure. And if we connecting this with the specific services, the virtual machines and so on, so we have over 400, over 4,000 different services available in Azure.
you should have more uh, that kind of community events here.